Welcome to Vegas Live with Nino. And of course, Vegas Live with Nino is actually on location. And we're down here at the Italian American um, Social Club. It's amazing down here. And I have Elijah Rock with me. Um, he actually was on my show um, last week and he's also performing down here. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is one of your kind of your first performances in Las Vegas, isn't it? Yes, it's a debut. This yeah. is, oh, this is his debut. I didn't even know that. That's even better. That's fabulous. Yes. So are you excited because this is a very well-known club? Mm. Well, um, it's an honor to be here. I mean, to be asked uh, to play the Italian American Club is a, is a great honor. Yeah. And uh, I'm very excited. I have a wonderful band tonight. And uh, we're ready to go. Very, very excited. Now, when you talk about your band, is this a band you know? Is this your band or a band mm. that's come in? Which is it? Well, this is a band that I know. Uh, I know Uli Geisendorfer. And uh, we recorded together also with uh, Jakubu Griffin. And uh, uh, Jake Langley is uh, a new, new to my band here. But uh, Bob Sachs I played with on the uh, Dennis Bono show. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, so he's a wonderful bass player. So I feel like I'm in good hands. So you you, you know, because your thing. type of music, now you're playing a lot of ballads and sort of, mm. you know, the uh, R&B and all that stuff, mm. right? Well, I'm singing the Great American Songbook with my spin on it. And so I'm a new voice in, in, the, is, in, uh, the, in the realm of the Great American Songbook. Which is the Gershwin, actually. He has just put out a record, haven't yes, you? The Gershwin yes, yes, record. Yeah, Gershwin for my soul. And it's doing well on radio nationwide. And, uh, and there's some wonderful surprises in my show as well. I have a wonderful Tonight? Yes, yes. Well, we're going to be filming the whole... How long is your show? Uh, it's about uh, 90 minutes. 90 minutes. 90. That's, like, that's uh, a long time. An hour and a half. Yeah, that's yeah, a long time. Yeah, yeah. That'll be fabulous. Yeah. Now, at the moment, you know, he's obviously without his jacket. And the reason he's without a jacket, because he's getting ready to go. And you're going on, what, 8 o'clock? You've got 15 yeah. minutes to go. Yeah, so so you've, got, you've got tie pins to put on here. What is this you've got in your hand? Yeah, this is a, a diamond that my dad gave me. <gasps> oh, how wonderful. And this is the heirloom from my dad. Hey, your and, dad was uh, pretty rich, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's got all these diamonds. And, and we're going over here, apparently. Um, this is the jacket you're going to be wearing. Can you put that on for me? Um, the reason we're doing this right now is because we want to get a little inside on. Got before um, Elijah goes on stage, this is what he goes through. He has to get ready. And, oh, my Gideon, look at... The, mm. <laughs> he just might not get to the stage. <laughs> I'm telling you. You look awesome. Thank you very now, much. What about the hat business because when you're on my show you are a hat yeah i don't wear a hat typically when i perform you don't because it, you don't uh, have to it distracts yeah, a, it hides your face yeah i don't want to hide you my don't face. want to do that yeah i want to be able to smile so you listen know. are you going to be performing a lot in vegas now are you moving to vegas well, my goal is to be performing here regularly uh my my vision is to have a small showroom and a wonderful classy hotel on the strip and uh so this is the first uh uh, step to that. This is the first step yeah. to yeah. that. Well, actually, um, this Italian restaurant has a lot of the old singers, yes. the old performers come here. Yes. So let's hope a lot of them are in the audience. Well, I, I hope they are. They are. I hope some bookers are there. I hope people in Vegas who, who, uh, who appreciate what I do and want to see me go. And forward. I think they will because you're bringing back kind of the old style yes. in a new way. Because yes. we all want to see something new. That, that's the whole idea. We yeah. love new things and doing new things. Yes. But at the same time, a lot of us older folks, a lot of us people out there that actually started in Vegas and sort of now have retired a lot. Mm -hmm. And then they see you coming back with their songs in the modern way. That's right. So what message would you like to give out there before you're going on set? You know, you're going on stage uh, an hour and a half. Yeah, well, have a great uh, show. Uh, have a great time uh, experiencing the show. And uh, we're just going to really be on a, a, a wonderful journey. And I, get, I look forward to sharing more about my story. With yes, everyone. and we will. We're going to actually have, a, we're gonna have another interview after he's come off set. That's if he's still got a voice. I mean, <laughs> at least I've got him at the beginning of the voice. He might not have a voice at the end. I'm sure he will. Yes. Well, good luck. Thank and um, we'll, we'll be filming you all the way through. Well, thank you. And um, we'll see you afterwards. Thank you thank very you. much. Isn't he lovely? I we'll be right back. <laughs>
me. Michael is the manager of Elijah Rock. Now, how's it going? It's going great. You know, um, we've been traveling around. We've been in Indonesia. Uh, and actually, Elijah just got here about a month ago. So, but he's been in and out from L.A. back and forth. But he's really taken to this place. The people are great. Um, it's just been a great experience so far. So far, and it looks like it's going very well because to get into this club, you have to be pretty, pretty good. Well, he's pretty good. So he's pretty good. I've heard him. He's really, really good. He's amazing. And he wants to actually sort of get into a big lounge here, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're actually talking to a few people right now about that. Um, actually, you articulated the vision perfectly on your show as far as where we want to go with this. Really? Uh, Isn't yes. that wonderful? Vegas Live did it again. Yes, most definitely. Well, that's wonderful. Well, what I've done, if I've inter interviewed Elijah now, and then we're going to listen and watch him sing, okay. and we're going to videotape okay. it and all, okay. and then we're going to have another interview afterwards okay, to see, see if he's still alive. Great, great. He'll be alive. Thank <laughs> you so much. He'll be alive. You know, okay, he'll wonderful. Be alive. So, so where else are you going after this? Do you know? Uh, well, um, it's Thanksgiving, so we're probably going to go back to Cleveland or go to Ohio, where, where he's from for Thanksgiving uh, but there's been some invites here so we're just trying to weigh our options right now there's a few gigs that he may have, have you ever had Christmas. Thanksgiving in Vegas no not yet oh that's a treat <laughs> you've got to have Thanksgiving so if you get invited because there's a lot of lovely places here okay say yes yes <laughs> yes, yes we'll be right back yes, Vegas be waiting. there you go okay. wonderful thanks Thank a lot you. take Thank care you. Bye. see I have two gentlemen next to me I have Uli and I have Bob and Uli is the you are the director and, and the um, conductor yes. of, of Elijah Rock who's going to be singing and you are the I'm bass, the bass player. player you're the bass player so uh, have you ever played with him before yes I have several times oh, how we lovely. actually written some music together so that's why he's so good and everything huh well, I don't want to take that claim, but I mean, well, it's, no, but if it I takes, must. It takes a, no. a bunch of people to make something work. Absolutely. You, know, you have to have a talent, and you have to have the people that help the talent as well. Absolutely. And how about you, Bob? Well, I work with Elijah through the Dennis Bono Show, which is a radio show yes. that we have in town. Yes. And he's been on multiple times, and I've worked with him on that, that occasion. So you're, up, you're working with all the big guys, huh, in Vegas? I work with whoever calls me. <laughs> whoever oh, calls yes. you. Well, there's, you must get lots of work, because this is the entertainment world and you know this is where it all happens well it's it's been a good run for me for all these years i've been here 39 years oh good and you're still still, yeah. still okay still working he's still oh, working a lot yeah now how about you you're not actually in vegas if you're a lot with elijah because he's now he travels a lot actually he moved to vegas yes and i've been living in vegas for nine years i was in new york before that oh wonderful and other places before that so but now i'm in with elijah so you're you're a, a music conductor. You, you I'm kind of a pianist and conductor and arranger and, and composer. Arranger and, and I'm running a jazz club here in town, the Dispensary Lounge. You are the Dispensary. How yes. wonderful. We'll have to catch you on our show. Will you just come right after this? Well, no, you have to come to where we film it. We film at the Peppermill every Tuesday, 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. So I'm going to have Uli on their show. Okay, well, we have to work out the logistics. We will do that. No, no, my talent, my director of talent is here, so you, you're going to be kidnapped. Okay, well. <laughs> and also you, the prospect, though. Not the first time, so. <laughs> I like on news, it's not going to be the last time either. No, with his good looks, absolutely. Yeah, he's pretty well, we good looking, forward, isn't he? Right, sure. Yeah, we look forward to it. Yeah, come on in. Now, how, how's it going for tonight? Is it going pretty good? Uh, thus far, it's going well. Yeah. As soon as we make it out of the interview, we'll be ready to blaze through some great music. I'm going to let you two go because it's getting there. Let me tell you something. Oh, it's eight, it's eight o'clock. Showtime. I gotta let them go because it's eight o'clock. Everyone's getting excited. We'll See you be right later. back.
Dean with me. Dean is actually making a documentary on Elijah Rock. Um, this must be exciting for you because he seems to be climbing up the ladder. Yes, he's re it's very exciting to see this. And, I, and one of the things is that I think it's really exciting to see him at this time. I mean, he's at the edge of something. So I think something He's really definitely at the edge of it. Yeah. But and he, he's got all the, um, you know how you can feel when somebody has all the confidence? Mm -hmm. He seems to have all the confidence. I would agree. He's got the confidence and he also has the skill. I mean, he's been working at this for so long and it's, it's all coming together at this moment. I think this, it's, he's in a, just perfectly positioned. So you you're know? telling me hard work pays off. <laughs> yes, I think it absolutely <laughs> does. It a lot of hard work. Yes. A lot, a lot of, of people say they're so lucky when you get where you get, no, but it, no, it, it, no. that has nothing to do with it no. because it's sort of is it's climbing that ladder and getting there. Yeah, and I think it's also you know there's also there's a genuineness to what he's doing. There's yes. a sincerity, and I think it's something that people are ready for. You know, it's, it's, it's probably him climbing to this moment, but I think also the moment is ready for him. I think so, absolutely, and especially in Vegas. And the reason I say Vegas is Vegas used to have all the old singers, which, which a lot of the songs he sings, yes. but he's the young version of it. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we actually we interviewed uh, Clint Holmes today, and we talked with him about stuff and about history and about where Vegas, Vegas and where this all fits. And, and the idea that, you know, there's, there is kind of a moment now that I think we're all looking for something a little bit deeper, a little bit more, he, you know, he described Elijah as, you know, he's a romantic, yeah. you know? Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. well, yes, because and, of the And it, within Vegas right now, there's so much spectacle, which is fine, and that's, that's great, it's beautiful, you know, I mean, like, what Celine does is incredible, and what, you know, uh, we're looking at J-Lo coming in now, and, and yeah, all but he stuff. can be a new Celine, I mean, in, in, yeah. in man form, I mean, he just has it. He, he does. He has it. So there's people out there that, you know, they, they, they kind of get there, and they, they kind of stop, mm. but he kind of has it. He has the moment. He has the he has the look. He's, he's slender. He dresses beautifully. And he's got this soft voice. And he's got and he has an intimacy that those shows don't have. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I know the, exactly what you mean. The, the romance, the, cause, because romance is about that. It's about two people in yeah. proximity having a moment. You know, and and with with the spectacle of Celine, which is again, it's beautiful. Uh, the spectacle of Cirque du Soleil, it's beautiful, but it's very much about wow, how did they do that? Yes? A lot of people, whereas he's single. Yeah, he's, he's like that. he's like a Frank Sinatra. Yeah, he's exactly. not Frank, but it's he's a, it's a, a conversation. You know, he's an entertainer. He's about communication. Yeah. You know, I mean, that fundamentally, that's what Elijah is. He's he's a consummate communicator. So how long is your documentary going to go on for? Right now, what we're doing is we're doing just a very short doc. We're doing 15 minutes about basically his preparation for this moment, for him being here at the IAC. Okay. Um, you know, it's it's a, it's a uh, a big step for him uh, in terms of just kind of introducing him to a certain community uh, and getting on the getting on the radar of some people. Uh, so we kind of thought, let's, let's let's take this as a moment. Absolutely. But I think ultimately we'd like to sort of explore uh, a larger picture, where he fits into. Oh, absolutely, because he is going into a larger arena. Yes. I mean, this is just kind of like, like testing the waters here. Mm -hmm. Now, what I do want to mention, because we're filming all this and everything yeah. else, you can use any of. I'm saying this on tape. <laughs> you can use any of. Oh, there you go. Absolutely. We'll, we'll share some with you as well. You know, we can <laughs> go back can, and forth. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because That's I perfect. think we want to see this rising star. Yeah, absolutely. And how did you find out about it? the third uh, table? I find I found out about this from my actually my talent director is the one that to put it all together, okay. um, Lynn Kusika, and she put all this the whole thing together. And I never pre-interview anybody. I never mm. pre-interviewed um, Elijah because I don't do that. I right. like it to be very sort of honest and very up there of what it is. So sure. so that's how we got to it. And then he said he was going to be down here. They said, well, hang in a second. And yeah. then my producer, Stevie, said, that's well, great. let's go down and film it. I said, okay, fine. Yeah. So that's why we're here. So anyway, so good luck. Thank you. And uh, we're going to watch it and we're going to take some Absolutely. footage there and then we're going to interview him afterwards. Perfect. Sounds great. Okay. I'll, I'll be hanging around. So if you want to you know, talk more. If I need great. some more, I'll yeah. come, come back to you. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've got the camera and all. We'll be right back. <laughs>
Carmen Holmes with me and she's absolutely amazing. You all know who she is because you all know what she does on the Monday night for Vegas. You are amazing. Every Monday you get up there and you give the exposure to all these talented people and you give them a platform to perform and to do their thing. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, that's where I came from. I came from a, a, a there were lounges out there and there were showcases and, I, and Frank Link was one of my mentors and he hosted an open mic uh, and that's where I got my you know experience. You started to get yourself going. And that's where he gave everybody an opportunity and I realized a few years ago oh my goodness I'm in a, a situation like that and it feels so good to help people get a chance to work out their stuff and hone their craft. But not only did she get out there and not only was she noticed she ended up marrying him. Ah, <laughs> How did you do I that? I married Clint Holmes. No, you married Clint Holmes. I married so. Clint Holmes. I know. I, I pinch myself sometimes and I say, that really happened. And yeah, because he's yeah. an amazing man. I mean, he's an icon in Vegas. He's absolutely amazing. I mean, you mentioned his no name. I've never heard a bad word about him. No. All I hear is praise, the greatest talent. He's a very special person and, uh, and he helps other people and he mentors people and he's really the guy that you think he is. He's got a big heart and he's a beautiful human. And where are you appearing? I know you appear uh, um, every Monday night at and, the bootlegger. And then I'm also at the Tuscany in the Piazza Lounge every Wednesday night. Okay. And then every now and then I do my show. I've done shows right here at the Italian American Club. So I'm gearing up. Is, isn't this a great place? I mean, this is like old Vegas, isn't it? It's like old Vegas and, and it's also uh, the most delicious uh, Italian food. Yeah. I feel like I'm at my grandmother's house when I'm here. Really, well, I was married to an Italian. Unfortunately, he passed away. But I was married. So I know all about the real Italian food, and this is it. The meatballs and the pasta, which we call macaroni back in the day. There you go. There you macaroni go. for everyone. But Elijah Roth's show was great tonight. He was just, man, he's a triple threat. This was his coming out party. Oh I mean, this goodness. was amazing. Elijah Rock is a number one coming out. He's going to come up that ladder, isn't he? He's absolutely, and he's a throwback to the triple threat, the days where they knew how to sing, dance, and act, and he's a... He does it all. Yeah, he's a consummate uh, entertainer. And then he came out with, at the end, which I was shocked, he came out with this opera. Yeah. He's I really, mean, he's just really talent. wonderful. He he's good. just beautiful. Congratulations to Elijah. What message would you like to give out there to all the musicians and all uh, to get out there and to, to, to get their craft out there and up and running? Well, I'll tell you, I shared this with my husband. Show up and share your gift and you will learn and learn and grow and grow and people will help you and 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 you will get where you want to go. But just, just hone your craft and just keep performing as much as you can. You know, she's amazing. I've, I've followed this young lady for a long time. This is the first time I'm able to interview her because I just came up and said, I'm interviewing you and that's it. <laughs> well, thank you. Get you while I can. You're I amazing. Thank, thank you so much. Thank Take care. You. Thank you. Um, well, Vegas Live with Nina. We're down here at the Italian American Club. Absolutely wonderful. And we just saw Elijah Rock. Amazing performer. I have with me without me saying one single solitary word. Clint Holmes, <laughs> how, are you? how are you? I'm wonderful. How are yeah. you? I'm absolutely amazing. You know, I've always wanted to interview you because you are like a hero in Vegas. Oh, well, thank you. Well, you've never asked me. I would love to. Oh, well, I've got to get your card and all your information absolutely. and everything. Absolutely. But what did you think of the show? This, oh, this guy I'm, is new. Yeah, he's wonderful. He's a, a friend. Uh, we, we sit around and tell each other lies about how great we are. And <laughs> <laughs> all that. Sit around and tell lies about each other. Exactly. Cool. No, I, I love Elijah. And, um, 
uh, I'm, I'm so pleased to see all these people here. I was and, shocked. Yeah, no, because well, well, I just had him on my show, and I didn't realize how important and how great he was. But after interviewing him, I thought, hang on a second, this is a great guy. Yeah, and, he's a great guy. He's a great talent. And, um, you know, he really wants very badly to be a citizen of our great our community. Yeah. Which, is a, yeah. which is, well, you know, Vegas is the entertainment of the world. Right. I mean, you know, right. look at you. Look what you've done. Well, what you've you. done for the city. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. I, I'm grateful to be here. And uh, and I will help Elijah. You know, uh, the first time I met him, uh, he came to my, my wife has an open mic on Monday night. I know. I, yeah. I, I, I and, know. I can yeah. interview her after. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and uh, he came in one night uh, and we just went, oh, okay. You know, and started our, our friendship. Yeah. 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 Um, but uh, not anymore. You know, he's he's wonderful. Yeah. So you can actually help him in this town because you know everybody. Just because I've been here a long time. Yeah, but but I mean I would do anything. Well, no, for you're an icon. Any any any, any, any 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 time I can can help a talent, you know, I will because there's a whole lot of people that have helped me well, throughout my career. That's what we do with our show, and I think you probably realize what our show is. Our show is obviously of course we introduce a lot of talent. I've seen your show many other. times. Oh, isn't that sweet? Oh, absolutely. Oh, he just he just got into my heart. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. My pleasure. But I do try. Uh, you and I'm do. I'm trying to get out there, and I'm trying to help everybody because they need. They don't need help. They need exposure. Well, that is help. And that's what we do. And that is but help. That is yes. help. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's very true. Uh, and, 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 and people like Elijah and, and all of us, really, people need to know that we're people. And, and uh, that we're just we... just human beings. That's yeah, just, just people. With and, talent. And, and I don't know how to do anything except sing and write music. I used to tell my kids when they'd say, oh, Dad, you're such a big deal. I'd say, I cannot fix your car. I have trouble changing a light bulb. I was going to ask you to fix my car. Yeah, no. <laughs> you can't. No, I'll write you a song while you fix your car. Okay. <laughs> yes, I can fix the car. We're both hopeless. Anyway, what would you like to say to all the younger gener generation out there of coming into the music business? What message would you like to give them? Uh, the, the biggest, the biggest thing is to be yourself, is to follow your own instincts, um, and 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 w when you do other people's material, make sure that you have yourself in it, um, because that's the single most important thing is to be yourself. So, what a great message can you have from a great talent all over Vegas? That's been all over the world, actually. Yeah. Clint Holmes, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. It's good thank to you. see you. Good to see you too. Thank Take you. Care. Okay. And it's not nice. most with me and actually he started you interview you you actually were the one that like the MC well I introduced, you introduced Elijah him, tonight right? yeah yes, I introduced him yeah no. because um, we both performed at an event in Los Angeles and instantly knew that we needed you clicked. To, yeah we clicked and knew because we loved the same music and, and said we got to do something together and we did a show together in Los Angeles a couple months ago so he said well come to the Italian but American you, but you club. got up there and you started singing and dancing and twirling and go, <laughs> I mean I'm looking at you thinking what is who's this guy and then suddenly <laughs> somebody told me who you were now oh. you've been in television a long time a long time yeah and I started on uh, happy days when I was 20 years old way back Back. Way <laughs> not back too in the far day. back. Not too far. <laughs> Happy days. Yeah. That was an amazing show. Well, how long yeah. were you on that? I was on it for seven years. Wow. And, and the show ran 11. I was on for the first seven years. That must have been very exciting at such a young age to, to, to be able to have a part like that. Yeah, it was very fortunate. Um, the timing, you know, being at the right place. I, I, I'd been pursuing it since I was about 13 in New York yes. and um, so it wasn't like it just happened I mean I was going after it big time yeah, I, you I was put your like, heart and soul oh, into yeah. it but you realized this is what you wanted to do yeah at a very young age I knew so I was pursuing it very fervently and, um, and it, it has served him very well I served Donnie very very well you've done amazingly but I only feel that when people are out there and how they get all the jobs and how they get the work and they get the talent it's because you work at it yeah you you, you really have to go through that there you know there are no shortcuts I mean it happens sometimes but then for longevity you know you need to go through 
go through the ups and the downs and learn and it's it's, it's part really of the process. Ha- well, it's like it's like a job. Yeah. I mean, everybody thinks because you're out there and you're on screen that it's just all you know. Fruit yeah, it just happens. Just happens. Well, it yeah. doesn't just happen, no, it does doesn't. it? No, it doesn't just happen. So, are you living in Vegas now? No, um, I just came in to to uh, be with Elijah for his show and, and guest with him and support him and uh, and have a little two day vacation at the same time. I don't time. blame you. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Where do you live now? Outside Los Angeles, Outside Los Angeles. and uh, we were dealing with fires. Had to evacuate our home. Oh home. no! Do you, do you still have your home? Yeah, the home is still there. Thank God. That, that's amazing. And thank the fire. The firefighters did an amazing job because the fire, when we you could see on the hill right next to our development, it was burning right up right to where you, where your right up is. to the edge, and then they obviously knocked it oh, back. Yeah. And it must just, be terrifying though to leave your home. Oh yeah. And then to leave all the belongings because I'm quite sure you've got a lot of oh, history yeah. within your. House. Yeah, and you don't know what you're going to come home to, if anything. Yeah, it's, it's pretty it's unnerving. scary. It's pretty, it's pretty starting unnerving. All, starting all really. over again at an old age. <laughs> yeah. But it's but then you realize, you know, it's just things, and as long, you know, the main thing is we were safe. But thank God we have our house, too. So. Absolutely. Um, what would you like to say about your career that has really that has really hit you, and you really feel like it just was amazing to oh do that? Oh, my God. I Probably don't many things I, I would imagine. I, I think just the, the some of the great great people I've gotten to work with. That you know, starting on um, with Happy Days, an unbelievable group well, of people on the, on the, on the map. Yeah. But but learn from all of those people, and and it was a, a very uh, uh, creative and exciting time for me. And uh, it set the foundation for the rest of the rest of your life. Yeah. Are you happy where you are right now? Oh yes, yes, and, and I feel like the best is yet to come. <gasps> I love it. Then you got a few things up your sleeve. Then, well, and you're not you're going to tell me some of them? No, no, not right not now. Yeah, not yet, but, because but, the, but it's coming. It's I love it. I love it. But that's been amazing. Thank you so much, Tony. You're right. amazing, and well, obviously he's had a fabulous career. And we'll be right back, Vegas Live with Nina. I know she's going to be performing down here at the Italian American Club. How are you, Angela? I'm fabulous, thank you. I recognize your face very, very well. I know you're around town, aren't you? I just knew in town. I just moved here three months ago. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. That's where I know you. But I was a hundred thousand dollar Star Search winner and a Broadway star, and I'm going to be here in the main showroom with when? the Six Piece Band on November 24th. Oh my goodness! I'm not yes. even going to be here. Where are you going to be? I'm going to be in Los Angeles. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> well. Whoever's here on November 24th, bring your relatives, you get tired of turkey, come on over to the Italian American Club and see one hell of a show. And I have a surprise guest as well. <laughs> see, what, see what I make my guests do? They do all the talking. I just stand there and smile. It's wonderful. I, I'm new in Vegas, but I've also worked here several times. I used to open for Don Rickles. Oh, I know Don. Well, I yes, knew Don Rickles. I opened for Don many times. What about Shecky Green? Did you open for Shecky? Nugget. What about Shecky Green? No, I didn't. I didn't open for Shecky. Oh, only John. Shecky's a very good friend of mine. And I've and I did for two years. Broadway shows at the Sahara Hotel. So I've been in Vegas a while. Off and this on, is what you on. call some talent. <laughs> so don't forget, you got to come down to the Ameri- the Italian American Club down there. It's on Sahara, and I don't know where the cross street yes. is. And it's down there. You got to come and see her. Thank you. Eight o'clock, November twenty fourth. I'll see ya. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>
with me and of course he was just down here seeing the Elijah Rock Show. Absolutely amazing. What did you think of Elijah? Fabulous. Amazing. It's just like Ned King Cole, right? I, that's what I thought. Well, I thought he's bringing back the old music. Well, nothing wrong with the Great American Songbook. You're never going to go wrong with the Great American Songbook. Never go, never go wrong with it. Do you come down here often? The uh, I live, I live very close to the Italian American Club. Uh, they made me an honorary Italian, so you know. I love the food. I just had the wedding soup, and it, it inspired me. Oh, I haven't had the wedding soup yet. Very light. Are you going to get married? I think I, I may. I might be convinced. To get, to, are you going to marry your, the soup, or are you going to marry your girlfriend? <laughs> Hopefully, my girlfriend. Well, I hope I so too. Marry the food. No, you're already <laughs> married to it. I've had enough. Food. Already married to it. How's life treating you? What are you doing? Wonderful. You know. Oh, well, the show's doing well. Vegas nonstop. We've been on NBC Sports Radio for two years now. Um, that's going great. We've been on the air for eight years with the whole format. We just got uh, picked up nationally. We're on iTunes now, Spotify, Google Play, so it's Vegas nonstop. Just like, just like Vegas Live with Nina, nonstop. Thank you, Jonathan. You take care. Elijah with me, Elijah Rock, and we just saw his performance, and I, I was blown away. Oh, why, well, thank you. You, thank you. You came out with so many different um, songs, and then you ended up with opera. Well, yeah. baritone, actually. <laughs> yes. But I, that, that, well, you never told me about that. Well, I have to keep some things a secret. You sure do. You sure do. But most of all, how did you feel with the performance and with your audience? I felt that the audience was rooting for me from the very beginning. Which, and is, which you didn't have to get them. You already got them. I, I really felt that in my heart. And so uh, it was just for me to just settle in. And be you know and be you. and and be me, and I didn't have to. And you know the beautiful thing is I've been doing these shows all year. Yes. So my show is pretty. I'm, I'm so you comfortable. Put it pretty together. Um, it's yeah. Together. You're pretty comfortable with doing it and everything. with the material. Yes. I've been working out a lot of stuff. So I'm I'm glad that uh, this show happened now. Because yeah, you were really prepared. Because <laughs> I was really prepared, and 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 uh, you know, you the more shows you do, the more comfortable you get. Absolutely, it's just how it works. And I was interviewing Clint Holmes, and Clint Holmes, I mean, he just built you up to the top, and oh, you wow. become very good friends. Yeah. And he wants he wants to help you and do whatever he can for you. Well, I have so much admiration for Clint. I mean, it. Uh, well, he's like Vegas. He he is. He's a the, legend. The he's he's a central legend. He is a Vegas legend. And I am honored to be a friend and a, and, a, and a colleague. I mean, it's just, I mean, that was my dream 10 years ago. I mean, so it's kind of surreal. You know, it's its surreal it's because I, me together. I look up to him so much. And, but it all takes time. And I think if you've got that time and patience to put all what you put into it, yes. and then you have that incredible thing at the end, which is you're going you're going up the ladder now. And the hopes are, hopefully you'll get a venue on the strip. That's my goal. I would love to be presenting a show and, 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 and maybe there's a little more classical in the show, but to be able to do what I do here in Las Vegas and represent not only the Great American Songbook, but Las Vegas to the world. Yes. Because it is this, the music industry of the world. It's, it's the world. And you, and you haven't really, you know, be, be, you have the Clint Holmes and we need more artists who represent Vegas around the world. We do, absolutely. Well, that's what I'm trying to do with Vegas Live with Ninon. 
and I'm trying to like bringing people like you on, you're kind of starting to, to work in Vegas, to perform in Vegas, and, and everybody in here. You had some very important people in here, by the way. Well, I'm very happy that they made the decision to you come out. You had a big turnout. You had a big turnout. It was, I was humbled. I was just, uh, I'm, I'm very excited about the future. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? On that, we have um, Elijah Rock. He's absolutely amazing. Watch out for that name. Vegas Live with Nina. We'll be right back soon. Thank you.